All right, guys, some more parts for the Camaro with some uh, BTR camshaft, uh, valve springs, and the um, push rods, <clears throat> factory push rods, well, factory length push rods, um, all made in the USA still. There's the cam. Just went and picked all this stuff up today. It's a uh, got it for a really good deal. Um, paid quite a bit less than what I would have brand new, but it is all brand new. It's just second hand brand new. The guy that I got it got it from decided he was going a different route. I install all the new parts, which I'm not doing. I'm having somebody else doing it. I'm having somebody knows what they're doing. But those look way better. I'll, uh, I'll take you out to the garage here in a minute and show you the heads that I also picked up. I ended up picking up a set of 317 heads. That all these are all this stuff's going to go into. There's the push rods. They're just plain old push rods. I think they are the thousandths or yeah, the eighty thousandths uh, thickness ones or whatever or wall there it is but I'll give you the specs on this cam here there's the specs on the cam I know I said in an earlier video wasn't gonna go anything too crazy but this is a crazy deal and I could not pass it up. Um, local guy, well, kind of local. He's an hour and a half away. Posted him up. Friend of mine, uh, actually Jake Riggs, um, tagged me in the post. And I messaged the guy because I've been looking for one. Uh, actually, just last weekend, we were talking about it. And... Uh, Derek's Corvette has a BTR cam in it and it runs extremely well. Um, so I went with BTR on these. Um, we're going to see how it goes, but I'll, uh, I'll take you guys up to the garage and show you the heads that I got. All right, and the garage. Have uh, finally have my aunt and uncle's Subaru in here. Needs head gaskets. That was the overheating issue. Um, Three thousand GT. My dad actually got tags for it, and he's been driving it. We were supposed to have hail, so I stuffed the Nissan in here and the three thousand, and the and then my dad's Jeep. Um, The uh, hail never came, so be moving this out here soon. I hit a rabbit with it a couple days ago, and yeah, so debating on going back to a stock bumper. Really don't want to. I like the look of this bumper when it's not all beat up. Uh, might order another one, or might fix the other one that I have. Uh, comment in the down below. I know this is not a Sentra video, but comment down below and um, tell me if you want me to go with the factory bumper or get another one of these or fix the other one I have because this one right here is pretty well trashed. Uh, and then I also got to get the hood painted too. That will be 
that'll definitely be done. But oh, tripping over the doors in here. I'm gonna go up here and show you guys the heads that I got. We'll check out Subaru stuff here in a minute. But these are the 317 heads. I drove about an hour and 45 minutes, which only should have took about an hour and a half, but I'm in a Jeep, so it took a little longer. Um, these are the heads that I picked up from uh, another drag racer in the Ohio area. He has a Fairmont with a LS in it, and he has a, it's a stock bottom end 5.3, and he's running 22 pounds of boost, so, I think with a stock bottom end on my engine, on my six liter, I should be just fine. Um, notice it's not sitting over there anymore. Finally got it over to the machine shop. Uh, he said it'd be two months. That was about, uh, that was about three weeks ago. So hopefully here within the next four to five weeks, I'll be getting it back. Um, I'm going to try to take these heads to another machine shop that was highly recommended for doing heads. Um, and then hopefully they'll be back about the same time that the, I get the engine back and, uh, we start putting it all together. I have, because in the other video, I might throw this one onto that video and the other, and the other video, other part of this video. Yeah. And the other part of this video. I have all the gaskets for this. So I'll be able to throw these heads back in or on and then um, throw the crank back in it and start assembling this engine. Once this thing gets completely put together, then we'll be moving on to transmission. Um, and I'll probably be having somebody else build that because it's too dirty in here to do a transmission. And I'm not gonna build, I'm not about to build a transmission for, you know, eight, 900 horse, or even, I, I, want it to, I want the transmission to be able to hold 1500, but I'm not gonna build a transmission for 1500 horse in a dirty garage and especially with the little experience that I have, which is none other than YouTube. But, um, yeah, these are the heads. Old dingy springs, but the heads don't look too bad. They're pretty clean. I only found two bolts, one right there and one, where's that? Uh, right there. That are broke off in it, and they're like, I'll probably have 40 bucks and getting those removed, so 40 or 50 bucks, which is not bad. I only paid 100 bucks for those, which is a heck of a deal for a set of aluminum heads. I know they're stock heads. Okay, welcome back again. Got the cylinder heads loaded up, ready to go to the machine shop. Hopefully, be able to get that done tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, and then there's going to be a little bit of noise in here because the fans are going. Got the one head loaded up. Okay, it's going hopefully there Thursday, if not Friday. So this one here, we have to get these two bolts out. And then I'll load this one up in there and take it with me. And we're gonna get all the springs replaced with that BTR kit, the cam kit that uh, these came in. Well, they came with these. And then um, a new set of just stock valves and new seats and seals. Um, and they're gonna be cleaned up and I'm gonna have them hot tanked. They're also gonna be milled. 
just to make sure everything's perfectly flat. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna get this done.